the eyeshadow wardrobe palette tag. I guess you would call it the eyeshadow wardrobe tag. Um, so this video was suggested to me to do by my dear subscriber, Julia. Her name is Little Mauve on YouTube. Um, she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but her name is Little Mauve on here. Um, and she messaged me about this tag and I was like, no, I haven't even heard of it. I haven't even seen any videos on it. So I looked up the tag and saw the questions and I was like, sounds like a video I want to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. Um, I'm not really sure who the originator is of this tag. It says that it was sent to someone who did the tag um, from a subscriber of hers. So I will try and find who the originator was <clears throat> and I will link it below if I do find it or I'll just insert it in like a clip of who created it. So we're going to get started. There's only 10 questions, so this shouldn't be too long of a video for me to film. <clears throat> so the first question is um, wedding slash guest. Now, I haven't been at a wedding in, I mean, obviously not this year because all of them were pushed back due to COVID, but um, I was actually supposed to attend two um, weddings this past year. I was supposed to go to my cousin's wedding back in July and then I was supposed to go to one of my friend's weddings last month. I'm not really sure if she had the wedding um, because it does show that they're married every time I look at her Instagram but I'm not sure if that was like a private ceremony or they had it you know or they actually had it but I just felt too hesitant to even go because I think it was supposed to be in the city and me and my boyfriend were just like no like when I, I have no idea if it was held or not. I didn't RSVP to the second date when they did move it up. So yeah. So anyway, my palette that I would choose for a wedding slash guest um, look would be the Natasha Denona gold palette because I feel like this is like, I mean, obviously this is my most expensive palette in my collection, but I also feel like this is a palette that I would just use because I just think it's such a glamorous, beautiful palette. It has such beautiful, like, antique-looking golds in it. And I really want to whip this out during the winter time and do more looks with it. Because I haven't used it in quite a while. Because I've just had so many new palettes in my collection that it's, like, been kind of hard for me to use my older palettes. Because, you know, I've just been trying so many different palettes this year. Um, but I just feel like this palette, you could you know, add some color to the lower lash line or if you want something a little bit more dramatic, you can use like these darker turquoise colors or you can go with something really neutral but still really glamorous because these shimmers are so beautiful all over the lid and on the inner corners, like I would just probably pop on this shade all over the lid because it is my favorite shade in the palette because it's a yellow gold and you guys know how much I love those kind of shades. Um, but you could also do something really subtle and just use like one of these shades as a lid shade and also like one of these shades too so there's so many different shimmers and versatility in this palette there are about nine shimmers in this palette and you guys can see I have used this palette quite a bit I used this so much when I first got it it was like my favorite palette when I first got it. it's still one of my favorite palettes in my collection because the formula is so nice and I feel like if I used this for a wedding or any like special occasion I feel like it would never let me down because it's just such an, uh, a good formula. But I also feel like these shimmers are so beautiful. Like you could even pop this one on like the center of the lid. Or like there's a lot of different like topper options in here. Like these three shades. And then you have like these beautiful shimmers. So I feel like you couldn't go wrong with any Natasha Denona palette. But this one in particular I would highly recommend for any kind of like wedding type of look. Because I just feel like it looks so classic and so beautiful. And so glamorous. So, okay. Then number two is date night. Now, for me, I chose the Disney, The Lion King, Sir, Sir John, Sir John and Luminous Eyeshadow Palette. And the reason why I chose this one is because I feel the same way about this palette as I do about the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I feel like there are some really beautiful neutrals in here with pops of color. So I feel like that that's like more of my go-to as I get older rather than just doing like 
super colorful looks for everything. I feel like if I was going to go out on a date with my boyfriend or if I was going to go to a wedding, I feel like this would be more versatile because I could just put on like one of the colors in the lower lash line to add some interest or I could put one of these all over the lid and put all these beautiful neutrals in the crease and it'll kick up the look a notch. Um, but I feel like this is a really nice palette for like a date night because again I could put any of these on the lid and put these in the crease and also this palette has such a beautiful formula as well. I feel like this is such an underrated palette. The shimmers are a bit crumbly but they are very pigmented. I do find I get a little bit of fallout at the end of the day, but at the same time, it's like if the shadow is pigmented enough for me, it doesn't really bother me. So yeah, so anyway, I love these pops of shimmer. These are so beautiful. And then you could also do like these shimmer shades, but I like there's not too many shimmer options. I feel like this palette makes it really easy for you to play with color and that's why I really like it because I don't really have any other palettes like this in my collection where there's a, a bunch of neutral shades and pops of color. I feel like they curated this palette so beautifully because it was made by a makeup artist. It was Beyonce's makeup artist. And I just feel like with makeup artists, they're much more about like pops of color. But you could also do like a really beautiful colorful look with this. You could put like the shimmers in the crease and it would be so beautiful. So yeah, I really, really love this palette and I feel like it would be a great like date night palette. Okay, so the third question is girls night. Now for me, this was pretty much a no-brainer. I'm going to try and switch up my answer for um, each question. I don't want to be too repetitive and like say the same palette. So for um, girls night, I would say the Kathleen Lights and Colourpop So Jaded palette. And the reason why is because you know, the sky's the limit with this palette. You can do pretty much like whatever look you're thinking about with this palette because it's such a good palette, you guys. Like, you guys know this is my favorite palette anyway. I don't want to be too biased, but um, there's just so much versatility in this. And I don't want to hold it up too much because this shade did re recently, I was about to say recently, recently pop out of the pan. So I'm a little bit afraid that it might do that again. So I'm just going to hold it up like this. Um, but there's so many different options that you can do with this. And plus, I think I told you guys that this is pretty much the only palette that I usually take with me when I go visit my best friend in Connecticut. Obviously, I haven't since like March this past year. Um, and that was when, you know, everything slowly started like shutting down and they told you like you really couldn't travel anymore. I went and visited her like the first week of March and that was the last time I've traveled this year. Um, and I brought this palette with me and honestly, it served every function that I needed it to. I used it for like a neutral look for the daytime and then for the nighttime I switched it to a colorful look, like a purpley look. And it was just so pretty and you know, it just always works. So I love this palette and I would definitely highly recommend this for, you know, any occasion really. But for a girl's night, I think that it's such a fun, versatile palette and you can do so much with this palette. So... I would definitely say so jaded. And then for uh, question number four is vacation. And even though I don't absolutely love the formula of this palette, I think that these palettes are probably the easiest to travel with anywhere. And I would say the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows palettes because I would say that like, you know, you can buy like maybe two of these, like one neutral one and then one with like, a little bit of color in it and I feel like you would have like probably most of the options that you would need if you go if you go on vacation somewhere and I don't hate the formula of this palette I just think that most of the um formulas that I've tried this year have been better than this and I was just expecting a lot more from Fenty Beauty because it's Fenty Beauty but Again, I haven't heard the best things about her eyeshadows. I've pretty much loved everything else that I've tried from her, but I'm not a huge fan of the eyeshadows and most people aren't. So, um, but I've heard that the formula kind of improved a little bit more in the newer ones, so that's cool. Um, but I'm not going to get any more of them. I'm probably going to end up selling this at some point, but I just wanted to mention it in this video just to say like if you are looking for something that's small and compact and you don't want something that takes up a lot of room, these are definitely it. 
because they're so small and easy to travel with. I would also say probably the Natasha Denona five pan palettes. I have one right in front of me. These little small guys. I feel like there's a little bit more versatility in this one because you do get six shades in here rather than five, but you also get more mattes in these than you do with the Natasha Denona five pan palettes. But I feel like that these would also be really good palettes to travel with. I'm not sure how they are with traveling necessarily. I feel like this packaging might be a little bit more friendly because it's more mostly plastic. This this is plastic as well, but I feel like this would probably get cracked maybe. <coughs> um, but as far as something that you want to just throw in your bag and you have like two of these... I would say that these would be really good palettes to travel with as well because I'm sure you want something like small and compact, especially if you're flying. Like I would say like, you know, these are really easy like compact palettes to travel with. So I would say those two palettes would be my recommendations because they're nice and small. Okay. Then the next question would be like a graduation. Like what would you wear to someone's graduation? I'm going to tell you the palette that I wore on my graduation day and then... Um, I would probably recommend any of these palettes for like a graduation occasion. I don't know why, but I feel like with Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think like graduation or like everyday glam. So the the palette that I wore on my graduation was the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And this was actually the last time I had actually worn this palette because I could notice that the formula was like kind of changing with this palette. So, um, so this is what this one looks like I mean of course everyone under the sun has seen what this palette looks like so I don't know why I'm like this is what it looks like um but this is my most used palette in my collection as you guys can see I've hit pan on five shades but I've stopped using this palette a while back because I noticed that the formula was changing a lot I feel like I've gotten my use out of this palette so I don't feel guilty stopping um, use out of this whatsoever because I just could notice that the shadows weren't performing as well. Um, but actually she just came out with a mini version of the Soft Glam palette and I've had my eye on the Soft Glam palette for so long and I'm like, I really don't need it because it's literally the same as this. The only reason why I wanted to get it was to replace this palette, but I'm just like not really that interested in Anastasia Beverly Hills anymore. Again, there's so many other brands out there that I could try that I feel like I would like more. And again, like I want to just give a lot of other brands like um, a chance rather than like going back to a brand that I know that like everybody loves and wants. I'm just like, I'd rather like try other brands that are new to me and support brands that, you know, aren't as big as Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I would say anyway that this palette is... It's just a really beautiful color scheme for like any type of graduation look like all of these really soft neutral tones and there's also these really pristy like rusty tones if you like go to like a fall graduation you could wear some of these and then put either one of these on the lid or even this shade on the lid so I think that this would be a really nice option for any type of graduation and then the other palette I wanted to recommend was the Visart Warm Neutrals palette. Now I feel actually it's Viseart, not Visart. Um I feel like oh my god. I'm sorry, I have such freaking butter fingers, so forgive me for that. So anyway, I feel like this palette would be a really nice option for a wedding and also for a graduation because I feel like this palette is such a good pairing palette with any type of like shimmery palette. Like if you're not that type of person that really likes sticking to one palette or you feel like you need more matte options, I feel like this is a great option. I know Viseart is a little bit more pricey. They do have mini palettes um, and those are also really good for traveling as well and they're like half the price of these. I think they're like $40 or $50, which isn't too bad. It's still pricey. Um, I'm not saying it's affordable by any means, but these are like $70 palettes and I feel like I've had this palette in my collection for a while and I feel like the pans are getting a bit crumbly now like I got like some eyeshadow on myself after opening this but anyway I feel like that this is a really nice like warm tone neutral palette and I feel like it's a great pairing palette if you want to wear it with like something 
shimmery all over the lid or you want to wear it with like you know a shimmer that you really love like from a palette or something and you feel like you want more options but I feel like this is a great um graduation palette or like a great everyday palette honestly so I would say probably this palette as well so um and then the next question is Christmas day now for this one I I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer for me. I really don't use this too much anymore except for on Christmas because it is a Christmas palette. And this is the, um, I forget the name of this one, actually. I always forget if it's the Le Grand Palais or if it's something else. But it's one of the Too Faced Christmas palettes. It's the one that came out in, um, in like 2015 or 16. And this was like my first Too Faced Christmas palette and like my only Too Faced Christmas palette. I do like that it folds all the way back. But this I thought was actually a really decent palette. I thought it was really nice. I feel like their uh, quality has, you know, really just went down since like these days. But this was also like during like their chocolate bar prime days and I also feel like the chocolate bar palette would be a really pretty graduation palette as well but I kind of wanted to keep it very classic and neutral but again the chocolate bar palette would be a great palette as well but I feel like this is a great palette because you get you know blushes in here and a bronzer and a highlight and you get all of these eyeshadow options and they're real some really pretty shimmers in here they're not the absolute best shimmer formula but I do think that they're pretty like they don't just wear away and they're not too stiff and dry like most people say that um, Too Faced um, Christmas formula is now. Like I actually watched Tara Babes haul yesterday on the Christmas palettes because she did get two of their recent palettes. And she said like in the bigger um, palette it's a really really stiff stiff dry formula and she said it was really hard to work with but with this um I feel like that they're decent enough and easy enough to work with that I actually really enjoy this palette but I think I am going to end up selling this palette as well I just feel like I'm kind of over Too Faced as a brand and I feel like there's going to be other palettes that I'm going to want to use around Christmas time I mean I really do like this and that's again the only reason why I really held on to it it was a collector's item for me but I just feel like I'm kind of past them and I just like don't really have any sentimental or reason to hold on to this any longer. So, but yeah, I don't want to be like, you know, on a sad note, but I would just say that, um, that yeah, um, this would be a great option. Like any of their Christmas palettes, I would feel like, actually I wouldn't say that, but I would say like probably... They're like gingerbread palette. That would be like a better option like these days or like the extra spicy palette or the pumpkin spice palette because I've heard that the formula in those are way better than like their bigger Christmas palettes, palettes these days. So I would recommend those over like their big palettes like this. Like obviously you can't even get this anymore. Um, but if I sell it, let me know if you want it. Okay, so the next question is birthday party. So for birthday party, I whipped out two palettes. Um... So I would say either one of the Gimme Glow palettes that I own because I freaking love these and of course I have to mention them in at least one video that's all about eyeshadow palettes. But I feel like either one of these would be great for like a outdoor, um, especially since most things are outdoors right now because it is safer to be outdoors than indoors right now. I feel like these palettes are like great palette options. Like I wore this a ton in the springtime and I feel like this would be a great palette to, you know, just create a really beautiful like greenish pinkish type of spring look because you guys know that um my colors for spring are green and pink and like you know these kind of shades so I absolutely love the gimme glow palettes but they're also super intense shimmers that like it'll kick up any look and it'll really make the your eyes look like really glamorous so I really love this palette and then I would say more for like summer birthdays, I would definitely say the extra spicy palette because again, like, you know, it is better to be outside right now. And I think I did use this for um, my friend Lisa's birthday back in July and we did celebrate outside. 
um, I did wear this on my eyes and I just loved how this looks. This was my favorite summer palette and I feel like that this is such an easy palette to create beautiful warm tone looks with and I absolutely love this color scheme. They're so beautiful. So, and these shimmers are amazing and these mattes are just so pigmented. I freaking love these. Okay, the number eight is Office and... I feel like it would be pretty similar for my answers for office and every day, but I decided to pick, you know, kind of like, you know, mid-ranged price palette. I mean, NARS is kind of a little bit more expensive brand, but I feel like their eyeshadow palettes aren't too badly priced. Um, so for number eight, I would say the NARS Narcissist eyeshadow palette because I feel like this is a really pretty palette for office wear. And I feel like you do get a bunch of nice neutral options in here that you don't want to get like too bored using this for the office. Like I feel like there's some really pretty shimmers here and also some really nice um, mattes. So I feel like also this would be a really pretty like date night palette or going out palette because of these darker tones. But I feel like if you want to do something a little bit more like interesting for every day, you can always like smoke out the lower lash line with these two or smoke out the outer corners. And I feel like this is a really nice like versatile palette that like you wouldn't get too bored using this because there's some also really nice neutrals in here like these warm tones, but you also have some cool tone warm neutrals. I mean cool tone neutrals so you could do a cool tone look or a warm tone look. So I really like this one and I would probably wear this like if I start working in an office at any point like maybe like next year or something. Um, I would feel like this would be a palette I would use quite a bit. But I would use like ev any everyday neutral palette because you guys know how many everyday neutral palettes I have. I would use any of my neutral palettes. So but I would just say that that would be a nice suggestion if you're looking for like you know something that you know is nice and classic looking. I think that's a really pretty palette. Um, then the number nine would be an everyday go-to palette slash errands, like anything you just like, you know, throw on and you know you can count on it every single day. I would say before I talk about the one I've been loving so much lately, I would say definitely the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette is a really, really easy everyday go-to palette to use. I really love this palette. I think I've said this before that I love this for an everyday palette. I really love the metallics in here and the mattes in here are great as well. The mattes in here blend so beautifully and they're so buttery smooth. And then the metallic shades in here are just amazing. So beautiful all over the lid. So I absolutely love these as well. So I would definitely say this guy, but I have raved about this before. So I don't want to bore you guys too much. And then the other palette I really have been loving lately, even though I haven't hauled this yet, I probably will end up, I'm probably just going to end up, you know, posting my haul after this video because I am filming this before. Um, I would say my favorite everyday go-to palette right now is the BH Cosmetics Sugar Cone Palette. It doesn't necessarily have a brow bone highlight in here. That's the only thing that it's lacking. Like, that's why I suggested this palette because this one pretty much has everything you need in here. It even has a brow bone highlight. But this one I just love so much. And for me, I can just use Color Pops Hear Me Out for my single shadows and I'm good. But I have just been loving this palette. This is the palette I have on my eyes today. And it's just so pretty. And I really love how my eye look turns out every time I use this palette. It's just so beautiful. I love these mattes. They're so buttery and blendable. I think I, I like, like this palette more than the um, Winky Lux palette because I feel like that these shimmers are more intense and more to my liking. I mean the Winky Lux palette's really pretty too but these mattes I feel like blend a little bit better and don't like blend away as easily. Um, but these shimmers are just so beautiful and intense and I'm wearing um, all four. I usually use all four of the mattes every time I use this palette. I use this one as my transition then I used Delicious in the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Toasted. And then I used Homemade on the outer corners. And then I just put Cinnamon all over the lid today. I wore Dipped yesterday. And then I put Cookie Dough on the inner corners. And then I just smudged out Delicious and Toasted on the lower lash line. And they're just so beautiful. These shimmers are so gorgeous. Like they're so um like metallic and beautiful so I've been loving this palette as well and then um the last 
two pounds. The last question is um, New Year's. Now, for me, I usually whip out these two palettes for New Year's. And the first one is the Jouer Skinny Dip Palette. I love this palette for New Year's um, because these um, shimmer shimmery shades are such beautiful metallic shades and they're so gorgeous all over the lid they're so buttery smooth but they're also so wet looking as and all over the lid they're so super sparkly and pigmented so if you're looking for something that you want just like a really intense beautiful shine especially like people go with a lot of like silvery tones around New Year's like this shade oh my god this shade Starlight is so freaking stunning I don't have to rave about this palette as much as I do I mean I really don't use it anymore I really only use it like for like something that I need like a really intense shimmer for and um these two shades I freaking love and then this shade and this shade um and tan lines the only one I would say is bikini is the only one that's like kind of lackluster but it's so beautiful still um, but I would say like these like add such a beautiful intensity and also if you like don't really want to apply like a liquid shadow because like you don't like love applying liquid shadows and you might be a little bit afraid of wearing liquid shadows. I feel like that these like pretty much have the same effect and you don't have to worry about like liquid shadows. But I would say if you want something that lasts the whole night, I would say the milk makeup pigments would be like your... Uh, go to because I used to use those like when I would go to Liz's and I would need something that would last all night when we go to karaoke those were amazing so um, but since like you know for New Year's like you're drinking and you're you're dancing and you're partying those are amazing and then for like the pairing palette with this I would say the Kat Von D metal matte palette I know a lot of people aren't too much of a fan of Kat Von D anymore but this was back when she was really popular and I still use this palette when I can because it's such a great I mean hello it's freaking giant first of all and also because you have so many different options that you could use I would say this would be a great birthday party palette as well but for New Year's this would be amazing as well you can do any type of look with this I love that this palette came with so many coinciding mattes with the shimmers so it kind of makes it easier to create a look around the shimmer shades because I feel like a lot of palettes don't really do that and you're kind of always like unsure of like what matte you can throw with the shimmer. I feel like sometimes that's a struggle with me with some other palettes. That's why I like sticking with neutral tone palettes most of the time or because, you know, I'm not, again, I'm not going to wear a colorful look every single day. So um, but I feel like that this is a great versatile palette. These are all like the Metal Crush formula, which I really loved. I loved the Metal Crush formula back in the day. But these are all such beautiful shades on the lids. And also, I really loved this for like a Christmas look. So uh, I prob maybe I'll end up whipping this out for Christmas if I end up selling the Too Faced one. Because this is a really beautiful palette for that as well. But these mattes are so nice. And they go so well with the shimmers. So I feel like you have so many different options with this palette. Again, this palette isn't available anymore. So I probably should stop recommending palettes that you can't get anymore. Um, but I'm just going to be honest. And I'm sure you have other palettes in your collection that you could, you know, maybe. Or you have singles in your collection where you can, you know, dupe some of these shades. You don't necessarily need the palette. So yeah. That is pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my answers. They were actually, you know, palettes that I really didn't think I would have, you know, um, picked out for this. Because, like, you know, they're palettes I don't really reach for as much anymore. Because, again, I have too many palettes this year. But I do use the Give Me Glow quite a lot. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I love you guys. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. Bye.